Right, so we're, we're down in Ham at the moment, and I'm here with Simon. Hi, uh, Simon. Hello. Simon's heading up this wonderful thing in the garages here. Okay, the Ham United Group and Richmond Environment Network have pushed to make Ham and Peachum a low carbon zone. Cool. So with the 10 10 10 activities, we've had the garage sale, emptying old garages to sell off the stuff to be reused. Right, we're down at project number two, the Wandle Trust, down in Sutton at the moment. Um, we've got these lovely ladies here doing some jam tarts, etc., for the volunteers. <laughs> How many people have we got here today, guys? We have 50 people. That's fantastic. Absolutely, a mix of a few more, actually. Yep, a mix of students who come from one of the Richmond colleges, and a whole load of people just turning up now. Today. Fantastic. So we're going to go down to the river and check out what they're pulling out. Yeah. Uh, with a gang of volunteers. This is it all the rubbish, Log? Yeah. That's it. Look at all those things that we pull out of the river. <laughs> One, two, three, go! Yay! Just dropped through Brixton and we need to spend our Brixton pounds. This is what they call local, uh, the Brixton pound, money that sticks to Brixton. And uh, this cafe accepts. Doesn't look very sticky to me. The idea is that um, local currency stays in the local area and doesn't go to these megalopolies like Tesco, etc. Yeah. Because there's lots of them around. It's like Monopoly. You don't actually feel as if you're paying for it. It's great. I'm here with Adrian at the Hyde Farm Can Community Garden. And what does Hyde Farm Can do? Well, Hyde Farm Can does a lot of things, but essentially it's trying to raise people's awareness in this community. Community building in a kind of green way, yeah. but so we're trying to organise social events but all have got a sort of sustainable theme and the garden's just one of them. We're here in uh, Kennington right now, we're at Roots and Shoots, which is an amazing project, it gets loads of people involved with growing stuff in the in really inner city area. Well, essentially we're a charity that uh, is specialist in education for youngsters with learning and social emotional needs. But our other objective is to uh, promote environmental education. Great, thanks very much, Linda. Okay. Yeah, thanks a lot.